Hi, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial in Character Creator 4. It may not be that quick if you do the, uh, the full tutorial. What I'm going to show you is how to fix your eye blinks if your eyes are really big. And take it from me and Margaret Keene, you cannot have big enough eyes. Oh, you shouldn't have really. I just thought you'd like it. Oh, it's Keene. It, it's pure Keene. Now, the second part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix the eye look blend shapes and the jaw blend shapes for when you export from Character Creator 4 to other programs that are going to use uh, iPhone compatible blend shapes. As you probably know already, iClone uses a combination of blend shapes and uh, bone deformers. So the iPhone doesn't care about your bone, doesn't care about the mouth bone, doesn't care about the eye bones. It really likes just having the blend shapes with those transforms baked in. So first, I'll show you how to fix your eye blinks if you're brand new to Character Creator 4. And then I'll show you how to do a little more advanced fixing the uh, iPhone bone blend shapes. Okay, I'm in Character Creator 4, and I'm just going to load up a character with really big eyes. And we're going to look at some new features that are new in Character Creator 4. I had done another tutorial for Character Creator 3 where I was fixing these blend shapes in Unity. And thank you, Reillusion, for making this a little bit easier. But it's not always clear what you're supposed to do, so hopefully this walkthrough will help you out. Now, what happens is Character Creator 4 has a new blend shape system. It's uh, very superior, but it's a little complicated. <laughs> it's under your uh, people. Um, you get two flavors. There's the standard, which is 95%. It's the iPhone blend shapes. So we're just going to do those. You also get these, um, the Vizemes and uh, slots for custom blend shapes, but we don't care about that. So first thing you need to see is with this character, she has very large eyes. And if I try to close the eyes just using the blink on the standard or the extended blend shapes, uh, they don't close all the way. So the easiest fix is under, I think, character, correct eye blink. And that's it. It's one button and you're done. <laughs> so that's the end of the easy tutorial. We've already fixed the big eyes. Now I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the uh, what they call the expression facial profile editor, and they kind of mm, reillusion is like they don't want to say blend shapes, so they use expressions. There's a reason for that. That's because in iClone and Character Creator these expressions, what we would call our fax blend shapes, are created partly with uh, bones and partly with blend shapes. So everything's organized here. This is a really great system. Well, it's, an, it's a huge improvement over what was here before. So I'm, I'm going to click on jaw. These are four of the blend shapes that we need to fix because these blend shapes are dependent on uh, the jawbone. Now, now look at her soft cheek and the cheekbone. It's not just the jaw that's opening. There's also a blend shape that's engaging at the same time. And what we want to do is go ahead and bake these, the jaw deforms, the actual bone deforms, into the blend shapes. And just a quick look ahead, the other thing that we're going to change are these eye look. 
And these are also dependent on the eye bones and we want them to just be pure blend shapes. All right, but I'm gonna show you how to do it with the jaw because that's the, that's the one that causes everyone the most problems. So it's a pretty easy fix. What you want to do is open up the jaw. We're gonna export Mm, OBJ. Uh, now see how there's this nude character in bind pose? That's what you normally would want to export, but we want it to export with the facial expression nude bind pose. And I am just going to make these full body. Oh. I also want those teeth and full body. <laughs> full body is what you want. <laughs> and we're going to hit export. Now this is the warning that we want. It says the current facial expressions contain bone offsets. We know that. That's what I explained to you. Uh, bone offsets can have adverse effects on facial data when you import it back into Character Creator. So understand these uh, morphs, when we load them back in, are not going to use the jaw. They're gonna look like they do, but they're not. So go ahead and save it. I'm just gonna put it in a new, a new uh, folder. Now this is, what do they call it? Jaw open. Boom, now what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and export all four of these. I'm gonna set this back to zero for now. And all eight of the eye look morphs that same way. You're going to export them. You're going to get that warning pop-up that warns you that there are bones involved in these shapes. That's what you want. Now, pretend that you've done all that. I'm not going to do it because you're going to do it. <laughs> and what we want to do is we're going to just actually overwrite right on top of the existing morphs. So what I'm gonna do, we have a few options here. We have edit, uh, settings, there's this little lightning bolt, and a heart, that's the favorite. So I think it's, what is it, edit? Yeah, and what I want to do is load a new file. Why can't you remember my folders? Make sure you click on the right one. Now, what we didn't see is that Reillusion also exported a checksum key. And as long as you keep the names the same, it's gonna easily find, and it's in the same folder, uh, Reillusion will find that checksum and load it back on automatically. And uh, I think that's all I am doing, okay. That's it, I'm hitting OK. And it's loaded, it's set it automatically to 100, so I see the morph right here on her face. Now, it doesn't look like anything's changed, but it has, this is profoundly different. She's no longer using her jaw bone in this particular morph, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and edit the other three jaw morphs. And then you're gonna go into the eye look and you're going to edit and import all eight of your bone-free eye morphs. 
Now, I'm not going to go through the whole process, but you can figure it out. It was just like that. We're going to drop out of the expression editor. And I'm going to drop back the content. Where are you? Now, I've just created a special set of blend shapes. And I'm going to save them so that they can be loaded onto other figures. So I'm going to go into the custom. And spoiler alert, I've already done it. It's called Bone Bake Standard. And I'm lazy, so I'm just going to load these onto this figure. This is the full standard blend shapes that I had before but with those customs, okay? How I saved it was just, I have the figure with the blend shapes edited, I just hit save, and now you see that I did this before on the generic figure, but once you do this once, you can load it onto any of the figures. So I'm going to do the one where I prepared all eight eye looks, all four jaw, and that's what this is. And I'm going to apply it. And that's it. That's all I have to do since I've already saved this as a preset. Oh, oh, there's, there's one more thing I have to do. I forgot. Because the eye blinks are, need to be fixed. So character. Correct the eye blink probably should do that on every character just before you export. And then I'm going to save this character. Okay, I'm back in iClone. But my figure is using bone-free blend shapes on the eye looks and the jaw. And if I, as, as you can see, uh, eye clone doesn't really care. It's fine because it's just uh, still signaling the figure to use whatever blend shapes are loaded onto the figure. So you're, you're good to, to go. Um, it doesn't break in eye clone, but, but the caveats are, of course, if you use, like, the Victor Soup Days exporter to Unity, for example, I think he has uh, an editor that will rebake the animations, and they will bake in the those jaw and eye. Don't do that. So this will break those figures or it will make them incompatible. Where you can use this is anywhere... Uh, anywhere that you need to animate with an iPhone and you don't want those jaw bones or eye bones. All right, kids, I hope that helps. I hope you got uh, something out of this and I hope you make your eyes as big as possible.